PTA members of the Arima Presbyterian School and the Arima Borough Corporation raised questions over the construction of a gas station located opposite the primary school. This after the Borough Council revealed today that the corporation did not give approval for the gas station to be constructed. Marie Hull tells us more. Vice President of the Arima Presbyterian School PTA, Renison Burnett, is of the view that the newly constructed gas station located along Tum Puna Road in Arima will pose a health threat to the 390 people attending the school. He said the NP gas station, which took almost four years to complete, was designed without proper communication or consultation. And we believe that this facility poses very other dangers to the students that attend the school, to the teachers, and to the environment. You know, our concern is, of course, the safety of the community, and facilities like this tends to not work out as far as where health is concerned. At a press conference at the Rima Town Hall, Mayor Lisa Morris Julian explained that approvals for the gas station did not go through all the proper channels. And for the record, I would like to say on behalf of Council, the approvals for the gas station did not come to Council, not Council in 2013 to 2016, neither of Council this term. And we wanted to make it clear that we sympathize with the PTA and the students of the school and we would like to support them in their quest. Member of Parliament for Arima and Education Minister Anthony Garcia said during his tenure at the Arima Corporation, no such approvals were given. He gave the assurance as minister that his first concern was the safety of the students. The health of the children is one of the concerns that we cannot just bypass. Our objective, our aim in education is to ensure that our children have access. And if a child falls ill, then that child will be denied access to a quality education that we are determined to, to provide. The mayor of Arima said while she does not blame MP for the construction of the gas station, dialogue must be held with the other stakeholders to reach an amicable solution. Marie Hall, C News.